Happy Wednesday, everyone, and look at this. This is a picture of the sun shining and temperatures officially have made it above freezing. It's taken us a while. I'm Natalie Nunn. We're glad you're with us for Ozarks First Fast and Local, the Ozarks first and only online news report. And we do want to talk a little bit about the weather because we are looking at temperatures warmer than where we have been, at least for two days. I can give you two days of warmth. We went below freezing at 6 a.m. on Friday morning, and we have spent a hundred and 26 hours, 126 hours below freezing. We officially made it to 32 degrees at noon today. Temperatures now, we're at 37 degrees. I would never think that to feel balmy, but <laughs> there you have it. We are looking at winds out of the south at about 16 miles per hour, so it does feel a lot cooler out there. And those wind speeds, when you do factor them in, we're talking winds out of the south right now, trying to bring that warmer air in. The wind chill is still in effect. So if you're heading out tonight, continue to bundle up. We will feel like we're in the teens by the time we hit about 7 p.m. Now we do have a chance for ice. And yes, I did say ice, freezing rain, sleep. We will talk about that coming up in just a few minutes. Well, with all this cold weather we've been seeing, has your nose been running nonstop? A runny nose isn't always a sign of being under the weather. Sometimes it's because of the weather. The nose works as a heater and humidifier all in one, says Dr. John Sweet. The purpose of the nose is to warm and humidify the air uh, before it enters down into our lungs to prevent irritation. Now, when the weather is bitterly cold, blood flow keeps the space warm and the blood filled membranes secrete water and mucus, kind of like an indoor sauna where moisture drips down the walls. That's really gross to think about. Now, one simple way to try and help when it's cold out, wear a face covering, a scarf or a gaiter can help warm the air. Spicy foods, strong odors, and cigarette smoke can trigger the same response. You can check out our website, ozarksfirst.com. We have a few more ideas for you there as well. Okay, looking ahead for the precipitation chances, this is when we're talking about that chance for a little bit of rain turning to freezing rain. Actually, it probably will start as freezing rain. Monday into Tuesday looks like it's going to be our best shot of seeing that. And Monday, that pink, that's the sleet or the freezing rain that we're picking up on. This is all moisture streaming in from the south. We will warm above freezing, so I think eventually it'll turn over to rain. But it's something that we're going to have to keep in mind because, you know, those Ozark, for those that have lived in the Ozarks since 2007, any word of ice kind of brings back those memories. So we will keep you updated as we continue through the next few days. And the good news after that, once that continues to move through and we are into next week, we're looking at warmer temperatures. So we finally could see that warm up that we so deserve after such a bitterly cold January. Well, thanks for joining us today. More stories on our website, ozarksfirst.com, or check us out on our news. We've got Color 10 at 5, 6, and 10, and Fox 49 at 6, 30, and 9.